The electronic checklists contain all the checklists found in the operations manual. This includes the normal checklists and the non-normal checklists. The checklist can be displayed on any of the three MFDs. Either cursor control device is used to operate the checklist. The normal checklists are presented sequentially. Use the checklist display switch on the DSP to display the first checklist in sequence. The checklist title appears at the top. The current line item box is surrounding the first incomplete step in the checklist. When the cursor is placed next to or on a checklist step, a cursor selection box appears around that step. All incomplete steps are shown in white text. Notice the last three steps are green and have a green check mark in front of them. These steps are complete. The electronic checklist is able to sense that the auto brake selector parking brake and fuel control switches are set to their proper positions. When a step can be sensed by the checklist system, it is called a closed loop step. When closed loop steps are sensed complete, they are automatically checked off. Steps that are not sensed are called open loop steps and appear with a gray box next to them. The flight crew must confirm that each step with a gray box is complete before manually checking it off. Let's say you have performed the first three steps on the checklist and you wish to check them off. When a checklist is initially displayed, the current line item box surrounds the first incomplete step in the checklist. Use the cursor select switch to check off this step. A green check mark and green text mark this step complete. Notice the next incomplete step is highlighted automatically. Check off the next two steps. Continue. Each step on the checklist is now checked off. When the checklist has been completed, the checklist complete indication appears at the bottom. Remove the checklist from the display. Once a normal checklist is complete, the next incomplete checklist in sequence is ready to be displayed. Display the next checklist. The next normal checklist in sequence is now displayed with the cursor highlighting the first step. Next we'll discuss non-normal checklists. Non-normal checklists take priority over normal checklists when the checklist display switch is pushed. A problem in the hydraulic system exists and its associated ICAS message displays. Pushing the checklist display switch displays the non-normal checklist linked to this message. Only messages with icons have checklists associated with them. Display the hydraulic pressure primary left checklist. The title of the checklist appears in the same color as the ICAS message. Push the left primary pump switch off. The closed loop step is automatically checked off and the checklist is complete. The text that describes the non-normal condition remains white. Since this text is not a selectable step and is not evaluated, it does not change color. When the checklist has been completed, the icon is removed from the ICAS message. Remove the checklist. Cancel the ICAS message. ICAS messages may be displayed during pre-flight. Icons for amber-colored messages are inhibited until after the first engine is started. This allows the display of normal checklists during pre-flight instead of non-normal checklists.
However, warning messages which are read always appear with an icon regardless of phase of flight. Some non-normal procedures require immediate action where recall items are completed before a checklist is displayed. The recall item for this checklist has been performed and the fire is extinguished. Some checklists are latched to their ICAS message. If the condition no longer exists and the message is removed, the checklist can still be displayed. Display the Fire APU checklist. The Fire APU checklist now displays because it was latched. The checklist title is white because the fire is extinguished and the ICAS message Fire APU is no longer displayed. Complete the checklist. The checklist is complete and there are no additional checklists to view. Remove the checklist. The recall items for this checklist have been performed. Now, display the fire engine right checklist. Continued is displayed when there are more steps on another page. The page indicators show that this checklist has three pages. The page 1 key is white, indicating page 1 is displayed. Since all of the steps on this page are complete, the 1 has turned green. The cursor positions itself over the page 2 key. Display page 2. The next item is a conditional statement. Conditional statements usually begin with the word if. The checklist step or steps indented below are only performed if the condition above it is true. Since the fire engine right message remains displayed on ICAS, the conditional statement is true and therefore is green. Since this conditional statement depends on a time delay, this checklist step includes a countdown timer. The countdown timer starts automatically and continues to run even if you leave the checklist and come back to it later. As long as the timer is running, the current line item box remains on the step that triggered the timer. Since this is a closed loop conditional statement, the checklist system can sense whether it is true or false. When the fire engine write message is removed, the statement becomes false and turns cyan. When the timer reaches zero, it turns amber. The cursor then positions itself over the next incomplete step in the checklist. This step has no timer associated with it. Complete the checklist. Remember, steps with gray boxes must be manually checked off. Check off this step. The cursor highlights the page 3 key. Display page 3. The last page of this checklist contains a note. Notes are not selectable and therefore always remain white. Notes are discussed in detail in the next lesson. Now that all pages of the checklist have been viewed and the checklist complete indication appears at the bottom, the checklist is complete. Remove the checklist. Now let's look at two of the keys on the bottom of the checklist. The normal and non-normal keys are similar to the checklist display switch. The normal key displays the next unfinished normal checklist in the sequence. 
The non-normal key is displayed when there are non-normal checklists that need to be accomplished. It is used to display the checklist queue or the last remaining checklist in the queue. If the key is amber, it indicates that you have displayed a non-normal checklist earlier but have not completed it. Here is an example of multiple non-normal checklists. Push the checklist display switch. A checklist queue appears, allowing you to select which checklist to perform next. The queue is presented in the same order as the ICAST messages. The cursor automatically positions itself on the first checklist in the queue, but you may highlight any checklist using the touchpad. Display the Fire APU checklist. Notice the non-normal key is displayed because there are other non-normal checklists in the queue. The fire is extinguished. Complete this checklist. Once the checklist is complete, the cursor automatically positions itself on the non-normal key. Display the remaining non-normal checklists. The non-normal checklist queue updates to reflect the remaining non-normal checklists. If an additional message with an icon appears on ICAS, the queue does not update until it is displayed again. The checklist queue can be updated by reselecting it through the non-normal key. Highlight the non-normal key by touching the lower right corner area of the touchpad. Select the non-normal key. The queue is now updated. This concludes the instruction section of this lesson. You have finished the pre-flight procedures. Display and complete the pre-flight checklist. The pre-flight checklist is complete. Remove the checklist from the display. You are ready to start the engines. Display the before start checklist. Display the Fire APU checklist. Complete the checklist. Return to the non-normal checklist queue.